What's up guys? This is the Bro Foreman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dota War Let's Play as Venice. And in this episode, uh, we've been intercepted uh, en route to Yankton by a Black Hills, uh, Plains Nations, sorry, force. Uh, they've usually always got an army sat at this crossing, and now we're going to do battle with them and annihilate them. The garrison from the city itself, or some of the garrison, are going to come and try and help, but it will not save them. Um, then once we ca capture... Once you destroy this force, we can, we've probably got the movement points to march on to the city beyond. And then that will be... It won't be the plain... It won't be the native tribes completely destroyed, because the Iroquois still exist and the Inuit still exist. But their time is... will soon be over. <laughs> I think we're going to take... We're getting ready, to, getting ready to outflank the... Right, okay. Infantry... Form our lines. Okay. Infantry form our lines. Howitzers get out of the way. Guns can try and deploy. Conscripts get out. Cavalry. Yeah. Carabiner causing problems. Drop in a square, get some infantry out here on the flank. Missiles go for the tribal gunners. E men make get out of here. Charge the warrior society. It looks like they are. No, oh, whoa! Heavy horse gun artillery, run out of there. E men try at the tribal gunners. Carabiner, get out of dodge. Everyone's bodyguard has to commit. Commit into the bowmen. Marines engage the warriors. And I think all my artillery, as much as it can, has to head this way. Regiment of Foot is looking spicy. Bring you guys in. Okay, the medicine men are going to go take out. Okay, the carabiner have to come in here and commit against the cuirassier. Charge into the back of the warrior society. Marines get into those armed tribesmen. Broke the Warrior Society. Conscripts are still holding. Get my general out of there. Excellent. Okay, we're holding the left. General's bodyguard. Get out of here to try and knock out some of these other units. My artillery is uh, on the way. The men have to commit. My artillery can't really get a look in. General hit the back of that warrior society. My cavalry over here is doing great. Let's come back and try and back, back up my, my right flank. Excellent. You men. Grenadiers form square. Phased withdrawal back. Okay, if these conscripts can deal with these American bowmen. Curacier hit the Warrior Society. Carabina come back. to fire well off. Engage the American bowmen. Okay, we've beaten them on the left. These units form a new front line against the head of the column. Excellent. I 
ideally these units keep withdrawing charge down that bow unit conscripts are here conscripts form up on the flank general get behind the line actually my howitzers yeah they're being so some of these this infantry here is being engaged like part of my gun team so i expect them to probably route infantry fall back excellent carabiner Make sure they route completely. Excellent. Pull back. The American warriors are coming in. Cursier, hit the bowmen. Get my infantry. Pull back through the line. Howitzers to a number far too late in the game. Excellent. Cuirassier mowing down the bowmen. They're also being intercepted by rifle fire. Heavy horse artillery a number from distance as well. Chief's bodyguards attempted to try and break through our line. We've killed their chief. Artillery hit that bow unit. U-men and limber. Trying to kill my general at the same time. How it says use quick climb, engage the bowmen at range. My Cassier broke and their unit of bowmen. The mounted tribal gunners are still fighting. Oh! U-men all attack the chief and bodyguard. U-men push up. Let's try and engage. Mounted tribal gunners. You men push forward. And where's my depleted unit? Get on the flank. Excellent. Mounted tribal gunners are now charging in. So let's get my artillery. Fire a round shot at the bowmen at range. Ooh. You men, get back here. Their reinforcements are coming in directly behind me. I'm not going to move. I'm not going to make anybody limber up. Except anybody that is already unlimbered, they're going to push forward. Maybe not my general. Get right into point blank range. Okay, hit them in melee combat. Gun them down, mob, mow them, or just absolutely swamp them. Keep my general near, just keep everybody up and happy. Grenadiers have started to pick out the bowmen just to prevent them from engaging in this fight. Okay, you may push over. Yeah, they can 
consider themselves winning. There is a unit over there, so let's get my guns in a position to start engaging them when they come back. Oh, my carabiner are alive still. Prop them back towards the area. There goes the enemy. Tribal gunners, E-men, push in. There you go, my grenadiers were there to keep them pinned while the reinforcements arrived. Shattered, nice. Okay, howitzers. Pushed a quick climb shot, attack the garrison native bowmen. You men are going to fire shrapnel sharp. Oh, some of their uh, men have come back. Okay, they're wanting to rout. Shrapnel sharp. Devastating attack. Ceasefire. Let my cavalry come in and mop them up. Oh, the enemy gunners. Yeah, they've had enough as well. Woo! So, getting mobbed by native troops is always a bit of a dicey subject. But you know they come in from both directions, so just split your infantry force and use your cavalry to try back up one flank while the other one survives. But you're quite badly depleted, so you might wait, actually. What have they got? Not a huge amount. We're going to siege them. <laughs> if we, yeah, we might have to do a bit of back and forth here because my lots of my infantry is just gutted. Yeah, like just non-existent. Got good artillery, but most of my infantry just doesn't exist. And my cavalry is poor as well. So yeah, that's. If they attack us, we'll withdraw. But until that happens, we're not going to worry about it. Search Casa, build a magistrate. Cassetta, build a church school. Okay, we might want, when we eventually declare war on the Americans, we might want one army. Well, one army here is okay. These two armies, I think, through the road network, we'll be able to siege Savannah and Charleston in a single turn. But then you need to come up and help back up the army in Chikasa. These guys are already on the move. Position near Louisiana and the Iroquois Territory. Up here. We're building an army, but we need to upgrade the military infrastructure a bit more. You're going back to Caracas. Let's get the bones of an army being built back here. Because ultimately it's... Yeah, we can make some... Do some good things. Although we probably only want one extra line infantry. There we go. And this army will be ready to be committed. Have you guys got over your obsession about not liking being being garrisoned? Not yet, but soon. Okay, in Europe. See if we can trim down some of our garrisons a bit. But Colin, you probably don't need all of these dragoons. Nope, you don't. Probably trim a few more off. Not that we really need to worry about doing that. They're raised for very specific purposes. Uh, you... Good, you're on your way up. You might be able to leave leave your area soon, then we can attack Persia soon. But we need to make sure that we are doing everything we can do. Okay, let's get some of these fleets up and ready. Don't have any extras yet, ready to rock and roll. 
This army's moving up to the attack position, ready for the Indian invasion. Then in India itself, let's make sure we are continuing. So we're recruiting one infantry unit. Good. And then the rest of another army. Because then all of these can focus on attacking... Probably attacking Calcutta from the east. And then our, our main invasion force can land on the west coast. All the while we're smashing through Persia, ready to hit the... Um, the northwest frontier. Cool. I think that's everything. Um, ah, Graz gets a craft workshop. Are there any more? Get another craft workshop. Again, we don't really need the money. Um, but it's just nice to have the flexibility. Good. We want our agents to start penetrating into Persian territory before we get there. Just to provide an extra bit of um, positive pressure to Catholicism in the region. So when we take over, they should be a little more open for us to immediately push forward. Rather than having to sit on the territory and baby it for a while. Another army goes. Another navy goes into the pot. I mean, when that uh, when that fight happens, it'll probably be an auto resolve because they've just got loads, so many fifth rates and fourth rates. It would take forever and be effectively a foregone conclusion because I've got two enormous stacks of first rates. Uh, I'm definitely going to take this opportunity because the AI is giving me such a massive power balance advantage. No, no peace. There you go, America is fortifying their frontier, which makes sense. These are their... They've only got four territories, and three of them are within immediate striking range from our armies. Okay, let's get building. It's quick. Yeah, the, more, the more of this we get done, the more we will max out, and then that will be us. Not done, but the numbers will certainly start to drop. Farmland, upgrade the port, upgrade the roads. Yes, that's Iceland done. Panama. Rock weavers. Oh, sorry, Scotland was maxed out. The gunnery school in Greece. I mean, again, so much of this stuff we don't really need to do, but I want to do. Ooh, we have a new port. Put a trade port there, get a sloop being recruited in Cartagena, ready to garrison it. Okay, commercial basin in Nice, where, that, where another army is moving up into attack position. Good, France. Got a good number of top tier buildings being built which is great Rome's just about getting used to us so we've done that done that and then Punda gets a state capital nice okay in which case based on that previous action let's just call this call this for Venice Let's knock down the government building, make sure the army is replenishing again. We can upgrade the fur trapper post. We're going to demolish the farm. Because we can build a high level farm with the Western technologies. So there's one town. Do they have any more? Does not look like it. They'll soon they'll soon pop. Our invasion forces will continue their march up to the right position. Okay, we need, could really do with a priest. Pushing up to Texas to help free up that area there. Hopefully we generate one in, in Cherokee territory. Then I'll move them to Texas and they'll work their way up. Good, this army's on the way. No, sorry, I've done all of you. That's our new port that we've dealt with. 
We've captured the Black Hills, knocked out one territory. Antonio Galvani is becoming a fantastic general, although he is not long for this world at 74. <laughs> He's going to keel over at any, any minute. Okay, naval production. I think that's your fleet done. Good. You can also move up to the the Armada. Okay, just keep stacking up. Whoops, no, not Admiral's flagships. I don't want flagships. Something like that. And that'll probably be enough fleets to move these armies across. Okay, not long to go at all. Excellent, excellent. My, there we go. My, yeah, my priests are going to be... They're getting the hammer down. So once the war begins, they'll be pushing even further in. Nice. Very good indeed. So the Mughals might play hell with our possessions overseas, but we don't really care about that. Ah, oh, they're going to be raiders, the Americans. That's, I guess that's part of the reason why I have this army set south. Uh, I'm not going to waste my time moving one particular rake across, so I'm just going to give them an order to infiltrate Nagpur. Upper Canada, let's get a church school. Even though it, the region itself is Catholic, um, I want more, more religious agents. Okay, Texas should be close to letting us leave, surely. Mexico, Gunnery School, Ironworks, Upgraded Port, Upgraded Sugar Production, Upgraded Port, Upgraded Farm. A lot of investment in New Spain. Guatemala gets a craft weavers and a commercial port. Nice. Belarus gets an iron workshop. Lots of top tier buildings here, so these are all going to cease to be upgraded. Good, good, good. And some territories like Quebec will continue to need support. Hey, you can build howitzers now, so that's something. Although you, you probably need the military academy to get the heavy cavalry that we would like. So we were down at here. Upgrade the seminary. Yeah, the governance of the Cherokee territories is getting better. As is their production. Great church school. Oh, and you need better roads as well. And all the rest are top tier. Good. Okay, so how do you feel about leaving? Minus seven, minus eight. Right, I think... How many of these Dragoons can leave Mexico? Not that many. Two units of Dragoons get up to Texas. And then we'll probably recruit... And I don't think any of these units provide bonuses to policing. Nope, in which case just get some bog standard militia to want to free this army up. To get into position. You are not long from launching your attack against Louisiana. To be honest, in which case you, it's probably faster for you to 
and push up so you can attack Louisiana or go through Louisiana using this road up to Michigan Territory. So good recruitment. Right. Can you... Oh, here's an example. You can't leave Tarki yet. So you might need to do one turn to recruit some Dragoons. See if that knocks their public order down. If it's not done... If it's not good enough next turn, I'll exempt the region from tax. And then we will push on regardless. Actually, you might go up here. Just to help shield Tbilisi. So then we'll have three armies pushing on to Ardabil. One from the west, one from the northwest, one from the north. Then we'll be able to push these guys back into Esfahan. This army is going to make a thunder run for Zahedin. One of these armies is going to make a... Th well, both these armies probably are going to make a thunder run to Kabul. These two armies are going to push for the city itself. But, okay, so the... One more turn. One more turn. Let everything tick on. Okay. Then the war against Persia will begin. Then it comes down to will the... Will the Mughals join them? Because if the Mughals join them, then the invasion of their coast will begin as well. Yeah, America's pumping out units now. They're panicking. So the center, of, the focus of their power is Nitelico. Should be able to. Well, we'll definitely be able to sweep that aside with these armies. Well, we'll be able to smash them and then drive north. That was blocked. It's not that I was bothered about. It was the mine. New towns: Villahermosa, New Spain. Let's get a. Church school, Guatemala, let's get an industrial building here. Right, traits gain, good. Another round of upgrades. Just get upgrading. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. We were here, Reykjavik. Get your state capital in your port. And soon Reykjavik's going to be fully upgraded, which is nice. Okay, a few, a few new buildings, a few new towns are going to be cropping up. Actually, I suppose I better move this sloop across to Santa Arena. Sugar warehouse. Yeah, that was cool. that was a relatively trimmed down list. And then another unit of colonial light infantry. <laughs> I don't think even with the better buildings, we can't recruit any more riflemen or grenadiers anyway. Oh, that's big. You can finally, the Huron can finally, well, the, arm, the, the army that captured that territory can finally leave. You men can leave Texas. Even better, let's cancel the recruitment of that militia. Let's force come up to here. It'll take a few turns. Oh, okay, we could capture Louisiana as well in this turn. Things to do. Oh, and I haven't been keeping up on Yankton either. Okay, right. Let's grab Louisiana now while it's within spitting distance. Let's see if the Persians break with us. No, they do not. Let's take Louisiana. Destroy another faction from the game because... Now that that army can leave the Huron territory, we now ha we can target one army against every Iroquois settlement. And then we'll, we'll just we can consolidate the Americas so well in this episode. Okay. 
Got my guns back on this beautiful ground to the rear. Howitzers can open up on whatever target they like. We have got an enormous advantage against our adversary here. Two grenadiers on one flank, grenadier and skirmishers on the other. Heavy cab with the skirmishers, hussars on the right. General, observe what happens from the guns. target my my artillery because the enemy is not capable of doing much damage to their dug in infantry the mortars are getting into position or well, the mortars are in range Cavalry is going to commit against that unit of cavalry. This unit's going to get gunned down by our infantry. So my cuirassiers are going to suck up a volley here. Their infantry, their native troops have moved forward. We've taken a volley, we've lost seven cavalrymen. We've shattered the tribal auxiliary. If their cavalry wants to withdraw, we'll withdraw ours as well. Allow our muskets to do the work. Okay, we're going to need to send... Light cavalry is going to flank hard. While my other infantry push up as well. Withdraw my heavy cavalry. Okay, no, don't. Push them in. Go after the native auxiliary. Light cavalry sweep in behind their line. They've gone down a few of our light cav, but not enough to make a difference. Artillery's opening up. They are redeploying to try and stop us. There you go, sweep in. Okay, my light cavalry is going to take out the mortars. General is moving to intercept, but it's not going to help them. Push for infantry advance on the right, on my left rather. Turn the field artillery. I think they, they do have some enemy troops that have hidden over here. There they are. Okay, we're gonna hack down the tribal auxiliary. Okay, let's move you guys up, shorten our frontage, push forward, shattered, shattered, hit the native musketman in the rear, all my foot artillery, engage that general's bodyguard, all my howitzers cease fire I think. Go 
take them out, kill them. And make sure we shatter them. Excellent. Cavalry hold. The right flank has been devastatingly effective. Shattered. 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 Nice. Okay, these men push up, anchor themselves against the town, or against the settlement. My infantry is not going to be in a very good firing position to clear the settlement. But we are going to push up. Let's let these, these units fire off in case they can break them. Which they did. Swiss line secure the town. You men. Heavy cavalry withdraw. Mortar crewmen are still in the fight. So most of these guys aren't going to be able to shoot. Let's push these guys through the town, out the other side. Capture the enemy guns, although there is some chopped trees, I think, that are making it tricky to position. Artillery. Yeah, engage the general. Just keep shooting. Heavy cavalry. Commit against the Bowman Auxiliary. You're getting Cressier. I know you're tired, but they are they were wavering a moment ago. Their morale is weak. Ride them down. hit the mortar garrison unit this infantry get involved foot artillery ceasefire God, we must have their general tangled in there somewhere oh, I suppose not got him nice there's mortar crewmen that survived the light cavalry's slaughter been killed to a man in the open field. All that remains is one lone unit of Bowman Auxiliary. They've taken one volley. My guns are orienting to engage. Smoke's going to blossom on the distance. No matter. Louisiana was taken. Or Upper Louisiana was taken. Awesome. Let's repair the government building. You men replenish. Upgrade the farm. Upgrade the plantation. Let's get the roads upgraded. Let's get this town booming. 1300 people here. So this force, Orlando Sabatini is going to move on to Michigan Territory. Ricardo Spinelli is going to move on to Algonquin Territory. And Baldazare, you're going to hold. We're going to co we're going to make this coincide with the attacks on some of these other territories, because the main the main meal, so to speak, actually, let's move you guys out, and you guys in. Okay, you got your guns. It's going to be a mixture of 
Nazi boys and company infantry, I guess. Nice. Okay, let's move in against the Persians. We're very friendly, not for long. Cancel alliance. Let's see if the Mughals join you. They do. Okay, so my agent in the Americas was that blocked. Was the um, path blocked? Alert. So, you moved in to raid here. You can actually attack that city. As can you. You cannot yet. You may move in. Put them under siege, see how they respond, see if they attempt to engage us, and we can fight on the defensive. You men advance and put Esfahan under siege. We probably want to attack that, because it's chock full of regular infantry. So then this force, make your way to the southern road and get ready to block this army moving up. Luvi Rossi, you, you're going to hammer down this highway and attack Kabul, and this next army is going to head for the bridge crossing. Let's get this out of the way. Like I said earlier, it's going to be, I'm going to do an auto resolve because I've got bucket loads of bucket loads of really good ships, and they've just got bits and pieces. So. Sunk. Sunk. And when they are, oh, they're all going to retreat up the... Yes. So these ships that have met, that have survived the Maelstrom are going to flee. Let's sink them all. And you men... Engage this handful of ships. Ora, ora, ora! Yeah, just because this this naval battle would have been enormous and would have taken forever. So you men are going to repair. These ships are going to hold near near the entrance. Okay, so I think. Who do I want? You, probably, because you've got a good amount of artillery. Flavio's got too much. He's got a lot. Way too much. Let's move two units of Colonial Line up here, because they're going to switch for two of Flavio's guns. Let's take this force and attack the city of Esfahan. The Persian capital. And then before this turn ends, we're going to before this episode ends, we're going to get out all of our armies aboard ship, and we're going to land them in. Well, we're going to get them aboard ship, sorry, and we're going to get them in transit to the Americas. We're not going to necessarily attack them. We're going to get them on their way. So the Persian, the Kizilbasha units they've got here, they're. They are big blocks of troops, so we very much want our quickline to thin them out. They have no mortars though, which is good, so we can use our our slower strategies to knock holes in the walls and then form pockets around the breaches and force them to come and attack us. I mean, if you could get up here, ah, uh, if you could get up there, you might have been able to have um, fired our guns directly into the centre of the fort. Okay. So they do have reinforcements, but I don't think we're going to be bothered by them. Okay, you men. Hit by a quick line. They got some cavalry in the center, but not a huge amount. We are more interested in their infantry that is everywhere on the walls. So the first shells might hit this in here anyway, so I'm gonna let them do that. And the next shots attack the native units. 
because once we knock some of these uh, wall sections down, because yeah, they, these are 12 pounders and two volleys have already got to 50%. I don't like corner peak corner sections are good, but I want to knock down two sections here, so they really have to funnel their troops if they want to come out and stop us. Guns away. A couple of men dead on the top of the walls. Could try and get could have tried to have got some stuck, but not overly bothered. Our quick climb numbers are huge. We may end up having to knock the corners down. If they if they're not garrisoned like this, it's fine. But if they are garrisoned, we probably want to attack them. Okay, good. You are fine. Wall destroyed. Okay, Matt. This section of the wall next. Quick climb away. You are going to want to target some of these blocks of units that are going to try and defend the wall. So, will my 21, 12 pounders, 21 pounders. Yes, when I spent out time, they lost their order. Fire! Hit some right on the top of the wall. Nice. Stuart units sat at the back, ready to respond to any... Fatal collapses. Ooh, hello. Yep. Good concentrations of enemy troops here. One more volley, and that section of the wall will collapse with people on. Oh no, I need to actually completely destroy it. I see. Okay, let's let that happen. Probably gonna get some decent quick climb hits against these units. in the center. Sixty-seven percent. How it is gonna do. Excellent. That's gonna really clear him out. Artillery's firing. 87%. Close. Yeah, really, I want this section, this section, and this corner section knocked out. Even if just damaging them forces them to redeploy, that will still be successful. Ooh, that's a big concentration of troops. Good hit. Yeah, they all want to cover this one now. No one wants to cover this breach. That breach is lame. Okay, let's bring the line forward. These guns aren't firing, so I can let them go. Don't mind a bit of friendly fire, because at least they're not going to take a friendly fire quick line hit. Okay, you men engage. In that section. Quick line away. <laughs> so much death. I 
11%. Oh yes, the enemy does fail at hitting these. Let's get my howitzers in to provide extra support. Corner sections always seem to be difficult for their guns. Lots of them seem to fire over. So I'll watch these guys. Make sure they pivot and re-engage the new target. Oh, they're still going. I just don't want them to man any artillery. So this... <laughs> Ta da! Oh. I hope the howitzers are firing inside the city. Super. I gave you an order. Attack that. See if you listen to me. Okay, good. There we go. I'm just going to speed this up till we get that last hole. Until we get this corner piece knocked out, then we can enjoy the battle in better time. Otherwise, right now we are just... Oh my god. So all that artillery fired and it went up by 5%. If nothing else, we can start our devilish plot on this front. Ninety-two percent. Good. Now that's more like it. Ninety-six. You guys don't know what's going to hit you. The seventeenth does. They realise what's going to happen. We have to clone your light over there. Oh. Oh, there's just so much smoke, we didn't even get to see it. But we'll see the bodies. Yeah, there they go. See how it says. Get back on your... Oh, actually, one can... I think we can get up here. These guys are going to come storming out of this breach. Oh, it's kind of the wrong angle. Still, let's try it. You don't want to do attack ground with shrapnel shot. I think the heavy cavalry needs to sit here ready. Now you men scale that section, you men scale that section. Do you want to come and play? I mean, ultimately, the right flank, we can just advance in. Trying to trick them, but it's not actually. Ooh. It's a juicy quickline target. Oh, we slack, smack one down right into the centre of the breach. No sharpshooters. Don't run in. This is the reason why you have these. Don't make breaches because it's easy because it would be easy to not bother. I 
Riflemen are going to try and get into the armory, but they're going to get engaged. I'm hoping the Lone Infantry Guards can distract the Kizilbashi and the Riflemen can get in to the armory. Bit of a real gamble here. That's not what they do. Aha, we have engineers that can come in. Colonial Light can also try and help. I think the engineers are going to get... The <laughs> Riflemen are going to get mowed down before that can happen. Rifleman, go secure the gatehouse. Ah, the rifleman broke. Unsurprising. Trees all getting up there. Riflemen, you have your orders. Secure the gate. No, engineers, don't do anything like that. Bring my engineer over to bolster the right flank. Unsurprisingly, this is a unit of line infantry that were in a bad spot. My line infantry guards, though, are not going to take any nonsense. Okay, this unit push through here. The artillery switch to round shot and start to engage. Well, these grenadier guards actually need to get here and start engaging the Kizilbashi infantry that's going to attempt to intercept the engagement over here. Okay, you, you're determined to run through the main entrance. Okay, I respect that. These units get up behind you and hold artillery, ceasefire. Okay, engineers keep uh, riflemen, sharpshooters keep on running. Yeah, artillery just keep dropping shots. Uh, actually, you can keep dropping quick climb in the center. You can hit my grenadiers if you like. I was hoping you wouldn't, but... Okay, you men position. Okay, the new engineers take this gatehouse. Or sharpshooters take that gatehouse. Let me get my light cavalry over here to help out this combat. It's becoming a bit of a... Slugfest. You men form up and just engage whomever you wish. Okay, there's the enemy reinforcements coming in. You guys need to capture all of the gates. Don't need an enemy general, a new general. Actually, the cavalry can continue the fight. Engineers, try get out, see if we can begin to engage some of these infantry. Okay, you men keep coming. It looks like they do want to try and get into the city conventionally. It looks like my cavalry here get caught out by... They let the lancers go. Okay, 
bring my cuirassier in. Switch my artillery to round shot. Kill one last horseman. Ah, oh, you're holding off a whole oh, unit of musketeers. Light cavalry push forward. See, they managed to. I think they just they must just run away, charge, run away, charge, run away, charge. That's kind of what they've got going on. Light cavalry sharpshooters. So this infantry is probably gonna get cut down by the that Kizobashi unit on their that's got them on their own. Okay, cavalry, get them to run through the gap and into the back of those musketeers. You men kill that last lancer. He's just mocking you now. Otherwise, you men just form up and engage. Attack this unit, then I suppose. You were going to attack them, but you decided to veer off for reasons. Okay, heavy cavalry, get in. To be honest, my sharpshooters couldn't get in as well. Be good, we are going to make it before the camels get here. So now we're engaging the head of the column of the 35th. This regiment just cutting their way through the breach. Okay, where's my line infantry guards? Push forward out of this engagement. Curacier. Get over and help this unit because they're about to get slaughtered to a man if you don't. The heavy cavalry coming in will help turn the tide. Sharpshooters can attack. The enemy artillery and the enemy general's bodyguard. Howitzers cease fire. So let my howitzer, just, let, let my artillery just unit just sit there and engage whomever they want. Let's attack the general. There's not enough men in the breach to stop us now. Push through. The sharpshooters. Ooh, camels. Run the general away. Let's use my howitzers to just do this. Just attack the corner. Cavalry back into the center. You men get in and attack the musketeers. Grenadier guards turn around to defend the breach. Let's probably get a few more cut these reinforcing units in as well, I guess. Form square. One last infantryman here. He's in a duel with the garrison guard, but he's a veteran. 
Let's get my general in here. He's probably safer. Cavalry sharpshooters in here and in the center. Go on, this regiment of foot. Give them a volley. Grenadier guards are going to see them off. Excellent. Get you men inside the armory, get you men outside here. Hold. They're just going to shoot us, then we will do the same. Oh, you're not, you didn't have fire well on. Now show the lesson. No, oh, everybody's gonna sit at the bottom, and there's gonna be one guy up here with his musket. Gave them what for though? Bruce, no, what you're actually shooting at? Probably. Oh, that unit of Kizilbashi Musketeers is it's doing a big conga line all the way around the outside of the wall. Maybe ceasefire. Yeah, the reinforcements are here, but it's far too late. Get my general's bodyguard in. The two men up here with the muskets are actually the ones doing the damage. But there we go. Persia is captured. And that's a really good get. That's the core of Persian strength. Gone. Right here. So we're going to have to hold on to it. And that's going to take some doing. We can demolish these two modern universities, the madrasa, another madrasa. Let's get rid of that. I think that is everything. Getting rid of the universities will help a lot. But they won't do everything we need. Let's get this rake over. Or continuing on to push into enemy territory. You're wanting to see if the Persians come in, if this Persian army comes into the fight. Really, that's their objective. Right. So, firstly, Operation Be Super Annoying. Pick a bet. Pick a pick a um exposed port and sit in it. Importantly, what's up here at Calcutta? An open port and the city doesn't have lots of troops near it. Same for Katak. Right. Okay. This force that's our proper decent force, they are going to push up to Calcutta, push up to Bengal and attack the city of Calcutta. Because that's really important to get. Here's sixth rate. I'm going to take this force. And attack Katak. In which case, this ship can raid Yanoan. Good. 
So we have no more ships, no more armies are ready to invade, ready to use to attack from Trincomalee. Where is their fleet? It's not at Barcelona, so we'll blockade you. Is it here? No. Is it here in Bombay? No, it is not. It's probably deployed around the world. Let's attack Surat, and then using this last sixth ray, attack Orbandar. So, Satara is available to be attacked. Actually, probably more intelligent to raid them and not any ports that are empty like these we've raided them but now let's let them because if they move troops in to push us out they might stay there so right now we've raided it they we're not we've prevented trade because here for example we could storm and take Ahmedabad or Ahmadnagar or Satara or Goa from a standing start that would be huge, but let's get going. So those initial blows being dealt will draw the Mughals eastwards temporarily. Just in time for our invasion forces to arrive. Excellent. Excellent. On we go. Okay. We actually don't have enough fleets. Not that we need all these fleets. It's very... It's enormously overkill. All of these fleets. But it felt fun. So we're going to be short three fleets. Our fleets that are currently in production will probably be enough. Or not. So if you have any more ships in production, I believe they will they will follow the ar the, the fleet or army around the world. Excellent. New man. Okay, that is everybody. The invasion has begun. <laughs> cool, that's going to be fun. Um, okay, what else can we do this turn? I mean, ultimately, we could have just attack Ardabil. Because all these guys are all depleted anyway. Actually, let's let them attack us, because they're, they're in quite large numbers. Let's get, let let the, let the let us have the advantage. Let's recruit a handful of troops in Tbilisi just in case this army tries to go northwest through the gap to try and raid us. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I think I'm going to end the episode here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'm just going to check the Americas so that we can say... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Venice. Cheers, everyone.